Governor Felix Camacho wants residents to not worry over news that a nuclear submarine was leaking radioactive water during a three-week port stop just this summer at Upper Harbor. The Navy says the total amount of radiation leaked from the USS Houston doesn't even equal what you would find in a common bag of fertilizer. The minute figure is what Camacho wants residents to be aware of, but not concerned over the situation. He has the Navy has sent a sample of their quarterly withdrawal of the water to find out if the leak poses any health threats. Samples have been sent off to uh, the U.S. There's a specific site where they, where they have it tested nationally. The governor says results should be ready by Tuesday. Depending on it, the National Guard's civil support team may be activated to deal with the leak. But similar tests from Hawaii and Japan have reported no contamination, including when the USS Houston dry docked in Hawaii and a crew member was exposed to the leak. There was a sailor, uh, I believe that uh, it happened in, in, in dry dock where it spilled on him. The tests that were conducted in Hawaii uh, came up negative, no radioactivity, so uh, he's fine. Camacho as these sort of testings would usually take between four to six weeks, but reassures we'll have full cooperation from the Navy by tomorrow. Until then, we wanted to find out just how safe you think Guam's waters are after hearing about the radiation leak. Um, if a leak had occurred, then uh, I don't feel like the waters on this island would be safe. I'd like to think that if our, the waters weren't safe, they'd tell us, you know, let us know what they think is going on. So, I have faith in our government. Yeah, it doesn't bother me, really. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's safe. Why? Because there's radiation in it. And that's all. Meantime, the island will be subjected to an increase of potentially hazardous military ships like nuclear submarines during the military buildup. Camacho expects a greater sense of accountability and responsibility from the Navy during the realignment. That we as a people and as a government should demand and expect uh, that there be a greater, greater uh, accountability and testing and awareness so, uh, so that we're aware that if there's any thing that would occur, there are standard operating procedures where any, any type of exposure, anything unusual that would occur, that there would be, uh, again, an open dialogue and uh, notification of this government immediately for the benefit of our people. Nick Delgado, Pacific News Center.